Here is the little Duolingo app that I made with Cursor and Claude. It's pretty cool. It's got the three hearts for lives, so if you get something wrong, you lose a heart. Progress bar, and all of this works. He is a boy. And if it's correct, you go into the next one and the progress bar moves along. Um, hard to find the words in here. The bear. Okay, you get the idea. It's quite good, considering I didn't really do anything. Where the pictures came from is this Figma. File. So I just exploited the characters, put them into a folder, and also fed the layout from here into Claude 2 uh, via cursor. Um, so this Duolingo thing is by Eric Peters. Thank you, Eric Peters. Awesome. Following along from this is a video of the process. It's about 10 minutes long, but you can skip through it or put it on times two see how to create something like that with the cursor. So first, I'm going to use Claude to generate the instructions that we're going to feed to cursor. So, okay. so once we've got this, we're going to paste that into um, cursor. I don't really want the code because I want it to cope with it itself. Okay. And you just paste in to a text file. Doesn't matter what it's called. The instructions. And then you can also add images in. them to a folder. And use the images in the Okay. So now we've got the instructions and the mock ups. So use the Instructions on plane plan to create the app. So what it's doing here is on the left, you can see the files that it's creating and it goes green when the file is done. And in the center is where it's generating. And on the right is the chat interface where you can add more instructions or just see the progress of where it's at. So now it's created everything. You can press accept all. Now we can follow the instructions. So command and I will just bring up the composer in this little window. You can move it around and resize it. I think it starts off like that, but I like to have it a bit bigger so I can actually click on the tabs. And now I'm going to copy the commands into the terminal. Just the defaults. Okay. So this is what it's given me. But it doesn't look nice. Mm. So I'm going to ask it to make it look. Okay, okay that's what I want. Seems so stuck. Okay. 
Okay, cool. Looks the same to me after all of that stuff. Ah, oh, it's been putting it in in here. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's pretty good. Now I want it to add different variations. Restart. Create a collection of It's gone for black hearts if you get one wrong. Oh, jeez. Everything's in the right folder this time. Wow. Is that what this had? Anyway, let's try. Okay, that's good. Game over. I don't see the word apple in here. Mm -hmm. Does that mean this is just wrong? No apple. Anyway, it's pretty good considering. But, like when the logic and stuff comes in, it can get it a bit mixed up, like this example. Um, so you would have to tell it to do it differently. Let's just try it. Because there isn't always in the words here, we need to structure it differently. That's the answer. Need to modify some of the phrases array contained. Um, Now it's working. Yeah, well, good. Now, add more jumble words to each phrase. Word. And that's, and that's, uh, you'll figure it out. So, I think each, each phrase should have a character asking it. That's cool. You can't go back. Anyway, that'll do.